Beautiful. Here we go. Just hit record, Alvarez. So, hello, hello, and welcome to the Rock Metal Podcast. I'm your host, John Harris. Today on the, the Rock Metal Podcast, we have, is it Warsaw or Warsaw? I have Warsaw. Okay. I think you said it right the second time there. Okay, beautiful. Thank you. I should have asked before we hit record. How embarrassing. <laughs> Warsaw, and they have a new album called Werewolves on Wheels which is released on January 29th. And right now I'm being joined by Alvarez to share some more information about this stunning killer release. So Alvarez. Thank you so much. Yeah, welcome Thank to the show, baby. Words. Thank you. Good to be here. Absolutely. By the way, how is life in Norway these days? Uh, it's pretty cold. <laughs> it's pretty much the coldest time of year. So, uh, yeah, winter. Okay. And uh, Yeah, it's cold. And, uh a lot. You're staying home at home a lot because of the whole COVID thing. So pretty much locked down. Mm-hmm. You can't go outside, but you can't go to any shows or play any shows or anything like that. So okay, I'm gonna see how is the situation there. Is it is it bleak? Is it dark? Is COVID not really that big of a problem? How is how's COVID affected Norway? Uh, it's affected Norway a lot, especially in the entertainment thing, and uh, you know for shows and stuff like that. But uh, it seems like it's on its way up now. Uh, or the disease is going down, so uh, yeah. everything is, is looking better. Well, that's good. Did you guys get the variant or no? Uh, excuse me? Did you guys get the variant, the COVID variant? Uh, I'm not sure what you what you mean. There was, a, what, what's that? there was a third variant that came out in England a few months ago. And it's traipsing its way across the globe. And so, for example, here in Canada, in my province, we have a couple people with said variant. And it is. Uh, um, um, I'm not sure. Haven't heard any uh, confirmed cases of that, but uh, could be. Okay. Okay. We'll call it the second banana, baby. Now, that takes me to a couple of the singles (laughs) off of the record, one of which is the second banana. Yeah. So. I'm just going to say silly track title, but there's probably has <laughs> incredibly deep meaning. So Alvarez, take us through this track, the second banana, and then just the ubiquitous question of Alvarez, where's the first banana and will there be a third banana? Uh, hopefully. <laughs> no, uh, I'm not really sure what, um, I didn't write the lyrics for that song. Uh, it was the other guitar player, Tron, who, who wrote it, but, uh, uh, it's a it's a fun track. It's supposed to be a fun party song, you know. Uh, I'm not really sure what he meant when he wrote wrote it, but um, it's supposed to be a funny track. So a little humor. <laughs> well, that's good. Uh, and then I guess my question then is because this was the first single off of the record, right? Uh, no, it's the second. Second single. Okay, so the first yeah. single was Burner. Uh, no, that's the third. That came today. Uh, the first one is called Spitfire. Came a few weeks ago. Okay. Take us through what it was about the second banana that you guys said, this needs to be the second single. Uh, we felt that it was uh, one of the catchiest songs. So it was natural to to put it out as a single. So pretty easy listening. You don't have to you know work too much to uh, to get the feel for it <laughs> was that something intentional did you guys write the the whole album with that in mind or did you guys get to a certain point in the record and say we need something a little bit easier to digest no i pretty much wrote the whole record uh, with that in mind okay take us through that process how do you go about sitting down not, not that like in one setting you sat down and said, we're going to write a record and, and it happened. Um, but at what point did you guys decide to do that? Was it at the beginning? Was it someplace through? And how do you how do you do that? Mm, we decided to write it in that way uh, even before we started writing. <laughs> because uh, uh, me and Tron, we got together in uh, late 2019 and we decided to start a new band because we wanted something something else than what we was doing at the time. Uh, he was playing a pretty technical uh, trash metal and I was playing in a power trio. So I wanted to have a two guitar band, which was uh, a little bit easier. So it could be fun to play live. 
you know? Mm-hmm. So you weren't having fun in your previous bands and you thought... I we're having fun, but, you know, <laughs> <laughs> uh, just something a little, little easier and um, yeah, a little bit more motorhead. Okay. Makes sense. Totally makes sense. Because um, one of the things I have here in the write-up is music reminiscent of the glory days of 80s heavy metal. That's the write-up that I have. <laughs> and I'd agree with that, but is that something that was a part of the plan, or is that just what came out? Uh, pretty much just what came out. Uh, we had a few riffs. Tron had a few riffs, I had a few riffs, and then we kind of just bounced off each other with ideas, and um, that's what we came up with. Mm-hmm. It felt pretty 80s to us. Maybe <laughs> not everything, but... Uh, <laughs> Some of the stuff, most of the stuff felt pretty 80s. Yeah, well, you know what's funny is uh, when I saw the artwork for the record, the first thing that hit me, and I don't know if this was intentional, I hope you take it as a compliment, Mm -hmm. is I thought of Mad Max. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Okay. um, Kind of a psychedelic uh, artwork. I feel at least. Sure. Well, take us through what went into the artwork then. Uh, it was kind of an uh, idea that I was uh, thinking about, and then I saw the um, uh, the illustration guy, uh, TKS Low Skill, and I just found him on the internet, and I really liked his style, so I thought it would fit perfectly with the ideas that we had been discussing. So that's pretty much it. Mm-hmm. You know, now that you mention it, and I'm looking at it, I get more of a fear and loathing in Las Vegas kind of vibe now. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, kind of the idea. <laughs> okay, uh, and then of course there's you guys are the werewolves, and you guys are on wheels. <laughs> I'm looking at you. I'm looking at the picture. I'm trying to figure out which which werewolf you are. I believe it's the mm-hmm. second from the left. Uh, yeah, I believe that's right. I don't have it right in front of me right now, but uh, yeah, the one with the black hair. Maybe maybe uh, it's more than black hair. <laughs> you guys all have black hair except for the bald ah. guy. I'm the second one from the left. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Really quick, the laptop I'm recording on right now just told me that it's going to die. So I'm going to go yeah. plug in. I'm going to plug it in really quick. Okay. Okay, we're back. Yeah. Absolutely no interruption whatsoever. Sweet. Okay. So, man, what other questions do I have? I just find that the album is, I don't know, well needed in this time. Maybe take us through a bit of the production. You mentioned that you guys were in a couple of other bands. Was it material that was like extra from those bands or was it entirely new material? Uh, at least uh, on my part, it was entirely new. I can't really speak for uh, Tron. I don't know if he had some of the riffs from uh, earlier, but uh uh, we pretty much got together and wrote the material specifically for this project. Mm-hmm. Do you have to write differently when you have a second guitar player than when you are in a power trio and you were the only guitar player? Do you have to do that differently? Yeah, uh, most certainly. Uh, kind of leave more room for uh, leads and for uh, harmonies and stuff like that. So uh, a little bit different. Okay. Cool. Well. Um, I guess one of the other questions I have is this record. Is there a theme to the record? Uh, I think the theme is that it's the first one, <laughs> so it's not really a, it's not really a, any any concept. But it's kind of a we was hoping for an, a pretty much a, a positive vibe, kind of like a party a party feel. Mm-hmm. So uh, hopefully it's uh, easy to listen to, catchy. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay. Now, as far as this year is concerned, because this record is being released beginning of January, traditionally, you'd be going out on the road playing shows. Obviously, yeah. pending, that would be the plan. But from here forward, I guess, what is the plan for Warsaw? Uh, we are in uh, currently writing the second record. We're almost done. So we're hoping to hit the studio as uh, soon as possible, really. And, uh have that record out hopefully in in the fall maybe august or something 
So uh, because shows are not really happening around there. Right. And then as far as studio time, that's totally cool. You guys are able to get into the studio in Norway. Uh, yeah, we pretty much record uh, separately anyways. It's just me and uh, John, the other player. We, we record the guitars together so uh, we can keep distance. And the drummer uh, will probably record at some other location. And then we'll do the vocals later. So it's, it's not really a problem for us. Okay. And then I'm watching the music video right now for the second banana. Is this your guys' rehearsal space? Yeah, it is. So uh, it's not a it's not it's not a professional video shoot in that one. It's just a, a bunch of clips from uh, pr- uh, practice and just hanging out. Okay, and it looks like a bit of studio time as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's from um, the place where we record the guitars. Okay, I'm seeing a Kemper profiler. Is that what was going on on the record? <laughs> We were using that a lot. We did uh, profiles of uh, my Marshalls and uh, an angle that I have, a couple other amps, and um, yeah. Okay, so you made your it's own. Easier that way. Yeah, you made your own profiles. Yeah. Okay, is that just so you could record at like three a.m. if you wanted to, and you're not? Uh, mostly, and it's uh, we don't really have a place where we can record as loud as we would love to. Mm-hmm. So it's just yeah. Not necessarily at 3 a.m., but just <laughs> just not to bother anybody. Yeah. Was it scary or did it freak you out at all when you did the profile and you played it back and you thought, this is just like my amp, but it's not my amp? Uh, not really. Uh, it's kind of, you get you get used to it. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to use the camper on the next one, mm-hmm. but uh, it's, a, it's an okay result. Oh. Okay. So, so you prefer... The real amp over the profile? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What is it about the profile that's lacking? Is it is it the feeling? I, I yeah. I, it's definitely the feeling because you can't in a mix you don't really necessarily notice it, but uh, when you when you're chugging away, you kind of feel it. Okay. Very interesting stuff. And then for Spitfire, I'm seeing another. This one looks more professionally done as far as music videos are concerned. Yeah. It's a buddy of us who shot it, so uh, it's a little bit, a little more professional. <laughs> okay, and it looks like you guys are getting together for these. Uh, I'm guessing it was okay to get together during the pandemic to to film these, or was this were these shot at a time when there was no lockdown? Because I know there was in yeah. Europe, yeah, mm, pretty much. There was a a pretty long lockdown, and then it opened up for a while. Everybody thought it was going to be be okay, and then. Uh, it was locked down again. <laughs> so uh, in that little opening, we had time to shoot a video and uh, yeah, do some other stuff. Okay. Speaking of Marshalls, what is that? Is that a JCM 800, 900? Uh, I uh, used a uh, JCM 2000. Oh, okay. This year. So All right. um, just a re- regular one. No mods or anything. Okay. Do you go, do you do anything into it? Like uh Overdrive pedal yeah. into it? Uh, both of us use uh, Boss SD ones. Okay. You know the little yellow pedal. Mm-hmm. Use that one, so it's not too much gain on the amp. Use the pedal to kick it into overdrive, and uh, yeah, I use some other stuff, uh, delays and reverbs and so on, some stuff like that. Okay. Very cool stuff. And then we have a lyric video. It looks like for burner. burner. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess I'm curious. So two music videos and a lyric video, was it just like lockdown restrictions that uh, didn't allow for another music video? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. So cool. It's a great uh, alternative. Mm-hmm. It is. Just have, have something with you. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, Alvarez, is there anything that I did not ask that you wanted to chat about? Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm actually not used to doing so many interviews, so... Uh... I'm not sure. <laughs> no worries, baby. No worries. Sweet. Well, we chatted about Second Banana. We chatted about Burner. We chatted about Spitfire. We chatted about the album Werewolves on Wheels. We chatted about the artwork. At first, it was Mad Max, and then it was Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Mm. And we chatted about potential plans for 2021. There's a new album. We chatted about your guitar rig, guitar recording process for any gearhead nerds listening slash watching in. Uh, they just heard that you sucked the soul out of your amplifier and then used that on the record, which is cool. 
Um, any, what, what should we should expect maybe from the next album as it's coming into fruition? Is Are we at a state yet where you can say? Oh, yeah. We're almost done demoing. So um, I think it's going to be uh, better. <laughs> it's going to be more... Um, uh, on the first one, we kind of used uh, Tron's ideas and my ideas and just mashed them together. Mm-hmm. On this next one, it's uh, I think we both have written for the other guy, so written with the other person in mind. So it's going to be more... Um, uh, I- I'm not sure how to put it, but uh, I think it's going to sound uh, more grown up. More grown up. All right. I was going to say, what do you call a grown-up werewolf? But I don't know the difference between baby <laughs> werewolves and grown-up werewolves. So there goes that. Well, ah. <laughs> that concludes my questions on Alvarez. So unless there's anything else, I just wanted to thank you for coming on to the Rock Metal Podcast today. Thank you for having me. Really cool.